All right, to start us off, I'm going to go over the Dollar Tree scarves. Every holiday, they put out some really cute ones. And um, they are kind of thin, though, so if you may not want to wear them. But I'm going to give you a couple ideas of ways you can use them in your home. For the first idea, I put it around my pillow that I already had, wrapped a cute little bow around the front, sit it in the corner of my couch, and there you go. I've got some 4th of July going on for a dollar. Next, like I mentioned in my haul video, use your um, scarves as table runners. You can't buy a table runner nowhere for a dollar, and they add so much to your decor. All right, next let's talk about the bandanas from Dollar Tree. They usually have these again for all the holidays, most of the time anyway, and you usually get two in a set for a dollar. So um, again, I'm using a jar from Dollar Tree, but I've had this for a while. Um, I always recommend that you shop your home before you go and buy a bunch of stuff to do DIYs. Um, a lot of time I watch DIYers and I love to do DIYs myself, but if you're not real careful before you know it, you've spent way more money doing a DIY than you would have if you just went and bought the item. So just make sure to always check what you got at home before you go buying a bunch of extra stuff that you may not even need. So first off, you're just going to stick your little bandana down inside of there. Of course, leave an opening for your fork. I used a fork to kind of spread around down in the bottom of the jar before I added all the forks. So just do that and then, of course, add all your forks. I used the um, pretty side too. This is what's hanging out, like the darker side of the bandana is what's hanging out the top of it. And you'll see in the next one how I did it a little bit better. And this, again, comes in a set of two and they are different, which is really cool. I don't always like everything to be so uniform. I like it to kind of have a difference. And it's great for um, if you're going to have like a family gathering for the fourth or friends over and you want to upscale, you know, your decor to make it look like you spent more than you did, this is a great way to do it. Dollar Tree's bandanas are also great for making your puppy look festive or your kitty cat or whatever. Um, our dog wasn't a huge fan of them, but he did look really cute in it. Dollar Tree has a great selection of glassware because it's a blank slate. You can use them and turn them into whatever you want. And they're pretty, a lot of them are really good sizes. So like this vase, I thought it was really pretty. And then I got these um, little pearl-like stickers and they come in like straight lines or whatever. Or a whole strip of them is what I should say. And then I wanted to kind of make it look like the tip of stars. Um, to do the, you know, like the up and down angled. I thought this maybe would look like a tip of star. I wanted to actually do a star on there. I thought that'd be really cute and then paint it white. But, you know, that's not what happens. <laughs> I'm not that crafty. But anyway, and then you also could actually separate them. That's what I had planned to do, but I ran out of time. And I just like, I'm going to do this and see how it looks. But you could actually separate these little ones and like glue them, hot glue them on. I didn't have an issue with mine sticking to the glass at all, so you probably wouldn't even have to hot glue them on because then you're going to spray paint and that's going to kind of keep it on there. But you could do like a hobnail, you know, um, pattern all over it with these little pearls. So that's another option if you think about that. But that's what I did. I did like the little tips, try to make it look like a star. And then I wanted to actually spray paint it white, but I didn't have any. I had this ultra matte navy and I just spray painted that onto it. And I did it inside a box because it saves you messing up your grass. <laughs> My husband's always like coming home and like, why is our grass white and blue and all these different colors? And it's, it's just because I always, I, I forget to do this for the most, most of the time, but I remembered this time. So I'm proud of myself. But anyway, I just spray painted it. I put like a little bit more than one coat just because it was really bright outside and I realized I missed a lot. Um, but if you do better than I do, you probably could get it all in one coat and be done with it. All right, Dollar Tree stars for 4th of July are really cute. They have some styrofoam ones that you, um, if you saw my Dollar Tree haul that I hauled, and then they had some of these like hanging ones that you could do like a wall hanger or whatever. They also have a lot of other different ones, but these are the ones that I got. I got this little wall hanger thing and I took them off of the little burlap thing at first. And then I got some paper out of the paper pack that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was on my last Dollar Tree my last haul like shopping haul but anyway I took them out of that paper pack and these are the colors that I'm going to do my stars and I'm going to I'm trace them out 
with the stars that I took off and then I'm going to flip them over and Mod Podge the paper to the back side of these stars just because it, all that glitter that's on the front, sometimes it doesn't Mod Podge onto it very well. So I would use the back of them if you're not gonna like sand down, sand down all that um, glitter and stuff. So you're just gonna trace it out onto your paper and I just did it on the back side so that I wouldn't have to worry about any of the pencils still showing on the paper. And just trace it out and then cut it out and like I said you're gonna Mod Podge your star the base of your star and then you're going to Mod Podge put your paper on and then Mod Podge, Mod Podge if I can talk the top of your star as well just so that it adheres really well to the star and that it doesn't go nowhere and you will if you smooth it out pretty good you will still have like a few little wrinkles but nothing bad and my stars for some reason didn't fit like perfect so i kind of just angled them a little bit and had a little bit of the brown sticking out and i like the way that looked so if that's something you would prefer to do you can do that or you can get them to go on there i don't know i just for some reason when i cut mine out they didn't fit as good as i thought they were going to so i just kind of situated them until i liked what i saw and then after that after i did all my stars i hot glued the two pieces of burlap because i had bought two of these and I hot glued the two pieces of burlap back together in the middle and then just hot glued on my stars back and I did five stars. And I don't know how y'all like to do your um, 4th of July decor, but I usually leave mine up until I decorate for fall. And sometimes that's all the way up to Labor Day. So you could easily leave your 4th of July stuff out till then. And I think a lot of people do that. I like to, and I think it still looks cute for all summer. You can also take the styrofoam stars that are really glittery and spray paint them to whatever color you want. I just added mine onto some kebab sticks so that I could stick them in vases, which for some reason I lost that footage. So I wasn't able to show you how I did that, but these are great to stick in like um, some greenery or just put in a wreath or whatever that you want to do with them. And you can spray paint them to whatever color you want. All right, that's all that I have for today. I hope y'all have a great 4th of July with friends and family and be safe. And I hope you have a blessed day. And I will see y'all next week on our next video.